Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on LibreOffice Writer. In this tutorial, we will learn about Introduction to Writer, Various Toolbars in Writer, How to Open a New Document and an Existing Document, How to Save a Document, and How to Close a Document in Writer. LibreOffice Writer is the word processor component of the LibreOffice Suite. It is the equivalent of Microsoft Word in Microsoft Office Suite. It is a free and open source software so it can be shared, modified and distributed without any restrictions. Since it is free to share, it can be shared without needing to pay any license fees. To get started with LibreOffice Suite, you can use either Microsoft Windows 2000 and its higher versions like MS Windows XP or MS Windows 7 or you can use GNU Linux as your operating system. Here we are using GNU Linux as our operating system and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. If you do not have LibreOffice Suite installed, Writer can be installed by using Synaptic Package Manager. For more information on Synaptic Package Manager, please refer to the Linux tutorials and download LibreOffice Suite by following the instructions on this website. Detailed instructions are available in the first tutorial of LibreOffice Suite. Remember, when installing, use the complete option to install Writer. If you have already installed LibreOffice Suite, you will find LibreOffice Writer by clicking on the Applications option at the top left corner of your screen and then clicking on Office and then on the LibreOffice option. A new dialog box opens up with various LibreOffice components. In order to access LibreOffice Writer, click on the Text Document option which is the word processor component of the suite. This will open an empty document in the main writer window. The writer window has various toolbars like the title bar, the menu bar, the standard toolbar, the formatting bar, and the status bar, which have the most commonly used options, which we will learn about as the tutorials progress. Now let us start the tutorial by learning how to open a new document in Writer. You can open a new document by clicking on the new icon in the standard toolbar or by clicking on the file option in the menu bar and then clicking on the new option and then finally clicking on the text document option. You see that a new Writer window opens up in both the cases. Now type some text in the editor area. So we will type resume. Once done writing your document, you should save it for future use. To save this file, click on File in the menu bar and then click on the Save As option. A new dialog box appears on the screen where you are required to enter the name of your file under the Name field. So enter the name of the file as resume. Below the Name field, you have the Save in Folder field where you are required to enter the folder name which will contain your saved file. So click on the down arrow in the Save in Folder field. You see a list of folders appears in the menu where you can save your file. Now let us click on the Desktop option. The file will be saved on the desktop. You can also click on Browse for other folders and choose the folder in which you want to save your document. Now click on the File Type option in the dialog box. It shows you a list of file type options or file extensions under which you can save your file. The default file type in LibreOffice Writer is the ODF text document, which provides the extension .odt. ODT belongs to the Open Document Format or the ODF format, which is a globally accepted open standard for Word documents. 
It is also accepted by the Government of India policy on open standards in e-governance. Besides saving as .odt text documents, which can be opened in LibreOffice Writer, you can also save your file as .doc and as .docx format, which can be opened in the MS Office Word program. Another popular file extension which opens in most programs is .rtf, which is the rich text format. Now click on the ODF text document option. You see that the file type ODF text document and within brackets .odt gets displayed next to the file type option. Now click on the Save button. This takes you back to the writer window with the file name and the extension of your choice on the title bar. You are now ready to write a text document in writer window. In addition to the formats discussed above, the writer documents can also be saved in .html format, which is a web page format. This is done in the same way as explained before. So click on the File option in the menu bar and then click on the Save As option. Now click on the File Type option and then click on the HTML document and within braces OpenOffice.org Writer option. This option gives the .html extension to the document. Click on the Save button. Now put a check on the Ask when not saving in ODF format option in the dialog box. Finally, click on the Keep current format option. You see that the document gets saved with .html extension. The document can also be exported to PDF format by simply clicking on the Export directly as PDF option in the standard toolbar. As before, choose the location where you wish to save. Alternately, you can do so by clicking on the File option in the menu bar and then clicking on the Export as PDF option. In the dialog box which appears, click on Export and after that click on the Save button. A PDF file will be created. Let's close this document by clicking on File and then Close. Next, we will learn how to open an existing document in LibreOffice Writer. Let's open the document resume.odt. To open an existing document, click on the File menu in the menu bar at the top and then click on the Open option. You see that a dialog box appears on the screen. Here, find the folder where you saved your document. So click on the small pencil button at the top left corner of the dialog box. It has the name, type a file name. This opens a location bar field. Here, type the name of the file you are looking for. So we write the name of the file as resume. Now, the list which appears with resume as file names, choose resume.odt. Now click on the open button you see that the file resume.odt opens. Alternately, you can open an existing file by clicking on the open icon in the toolbar at the top and doing the further process in the same manner. You can also open files in Writer with .doc and .docx extensions which are used by Microsoft Word. Next, you will see how to modify a file and save it under the same file name. So first select the text Resume by clicking on the left mouse button and then dragging it along the text. This will select the text and highlight it. Now release the left mouse button. The text should still be highlighted. Now click on the bold icon in the standard toolbar. The text thus becomes bold. In order to align this text to the center of the page, click on the centered icon in the toolbar. You see that the text gets centrally aligned on the page. Now let us increase the font size of the text. So click on the down arrow in the font size field in the toolbar. 
in the drop down menu let us click on 14 so the font size of the text increases to 14 now click on the down arrow in the font name field and then select undotum as the font name click on the save icon in the toolbar so you see that the file gets saved under the same file name even after the modification is done once you have saved your document and you wish to close it just click on the file menu in the menu bar and click on the close option this closes your file this brings us to the end of the spoken tutorial on LibreOffice Writer to summarize we learnt about introduction to writer various toolbars in writer how to open a new document and an existing document on writer how to save a document on writer and how to close a document on writer comprehensive assignment open a new document in writer save it under the name practice.odt write the text this is my first assignment save the file underline the text increase the font size to 16 close the file watch the video available at the following link it summarizes the spoken tutorial project if you do not have good bandwidth you can download and watch it the spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials gives certificates for those who pass an online test for more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT-MHRT, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict-intro. This tutorial has been contributed.